Manual entries. In order to provide accurate start and finish time for working time directive or road transport directive, drivers may not be able to enter the chart into the TACO unit when they start their shift. In this case, they may enter a manual record either on the front of a chart or on the reverse. This is how you can enter these times. At the end of the events column are three manual entry fields. The first is where the time is entered. The second is event type, i.e. work, drive, rest or POA. The third signifies if the driver was driver single, default, co-driver or driver crew. This is only used if a vehicle has been double manned. To enter a manual start time, click on the first manual entry field and enter the start time. Please enter all four time digits, i.e. 6 a.m. should be entered as 0600. Either hit the tab key or click on the second manual entry field and select the event type. Select available, driving, rest or work. You may also wish to change the worker status in manual entry field 3 to either co-driver, driver crew or driver single. Driver single is the default and always used if the driver drives alone. Click add to complete the manual entry and the event will now appear on the event list. To enter a finish time, the procedure is similar to the start time except you enter two times. If you wish to enter a period of POA or work after the last event, scroll down to the bottom of the event list. In the first manual entry field, Enter the time as it appears on the end event. Select Available, Driving, Rest or Work in field 2. Click Add. To complete the manual entry, enter another event. In field 1, enter the end time you require. Select Rest as the event type. Click Add. Times can be edited by right-clicking and adjusting any necessary fields. These will then be updated and shown on the chart. Once you have completed a chart and all data has been entered, you are required to audit a chart to enable the chart to be synchronised. This audit will check that the chart does not conflict with previous charts and that data for the same period has not been submitted for the same driver or vehicle. Press the audit button. A new notification box will appear and if all is OK, the words audit completed by followed by your username will appear. Click OK to continue. If conflicts exist, these will be listed. Click OK to continue. See the Resolve Chart Conflicts After Auditing section to understand how to clear conflicts. Once a chart has been audited, no further amendments can be made to the chart.